Okay, today we're going to do small hive beetle treatments. It's basically, these are political signs, cheap, free to pick up. They look just like this. Some have the, the wording and stuff on there, but that one don't. What you want to do to do small hive beetle control is put this product in the bottom of your bottom board of your hive. Here's a bottom board that we'll be using. And what we're going to do is, first we're going to take a half a dozen of these, just for convenience sake, and we need to seal this up with just any kind of cheap shortening. And all this is, is basically just to keep the product in the containment of the hive. You don't want to have boric acid all over the bottom board of, of your hive. So just put a little bit all over here and try to get the hole sealed up as much as possible. Don't have to be real neat. This is just containment purposes. And you're thinking, why would you put Crisco in the hive? First of all, hive beetles love Crisco. It's an attractant. Go right to it. Now what we're going to do, we've got one side sealed. This is going to contain our product. And we not have to buy a lot of chemical to put in this hive because we want to remain as chemical free as possible. This is shortening. Your wife probably has around the house. Advisable to get your own can. Now here we have, this is just boric acid and we use a lot of it. This is very deadly on your small hive beetle. And I've got a teaspoon here measurement, and I've got approximately six pieces. I'll normally use 10 or 15, and this is one teaspoonful, and I'm just going to kind of drizzle it across. It doesn't take much of this product. Okay, we got, let's put one more just to be sure, because I'm losing a little. We put this in, we want to get a little boric acid in each of these holes. Now, take a little more of this Crisco. This Crisco is basically to hold the product in this little political sign. Now, the political sign are free for the getting. You don't need to spend lots of money running out there buying products. You should know by now, I'm cheap. Okay, seal this up. Now what we have is boric acid in these little political signs, and it's contained inside. First thing, the beetles, they'll go right to this Crisco. Now you have a product that's not going to fall out. This is for transportation uh, purposes to the bee yard. You can do a bunch of 40, 50 of these. The next thing you want to do is get your bottom board. It can be already fastened your high body. Take one of these, set it in the middle of your bottom board, approximately one inch or close to it. Be sure to staple it down securely. These little bees will haul this stuff out. Put your staple in each corner and there you go. You're ready to go. Now this doesn't have a super or it doesn't have a box on it, but this is what you should do when you're going for getting set up. Now these are effective for three to four months. Or if you've got time, go through, change out the box, pull this up, and replace it with a new one. Because the effectiveness gets lost when this little compartment here, the holes is where your, your small hide beetle goes into. This is your just run-of-the-mill political signs. Cheap. You can just pick them up just for the picking them up. This one has no writing. See the cells? Okay. Now this treatment here, you can buy a bucket of this, you can buy a half a pound of this and it will treat several hundred hives. Very, very effective. There it is. You see the powder? It's not coming out. It's contained. The purpose of this Crisco or any shortening is to hold the product in containment. And then the beetles are naturally drawn to the shortening. 
And then when they go into this here, the bees keep them herded up in there. They eat this boric acid and it kills them. Whether most people don't know it, boric acid was sold several years back as roach proofing in kitchen cabinets and that. Same product, they might have used 2 to 5 percent filler of other product. You could add a little powder sugar to this, make it more appetizing, but your bees will keep them herded up into this little corral and that kills them. Replace it three to four months and you're good to go. Awesome, Don. Thanks.